All right, it is the first day of fall and I'm out on one of my favorite trout lakes. Absolutely beautiful watercolor in this lake. It's an alkaline lake, so it gives it that really unique, vibrant blue color. Today, I'm gonna be trolling hoochies for big trout. Now, I like hoochies a lot. Um, even though they don't resemble anything that trout would naturally eat, they come in such a diversity of colors and sizes, it's very easy to customize these. You can even add blades to the front of them. You can even add wiggle bills, all kinds of cool stuff uh, to really dial them into your specific fishery. And you can, like I said, go up and down in size to little tiny one, one and a half inch, all the way up to giant, you know, six to 10 inch uh, ones if you were going after big trout like, say, Mackinac. So I'm going to get these rigged up. I always run these behind a dodger or a flasher because you need something that adds that action because they don't really have a lot of action on their own. And I'll be trolling these at a pretty good clip today, somewhere close to two miles per hour. And uh, we'll see if we can get into some big trout today. I'm just going to be running these behind some skateboard style dodgers. The leader length I almost always make about two to three times the length of the Dodger itself. That seems to impart the best action. Then we'll go three ounces on this one. I'm just gonna use dropper rigs today, not using my downrigger, just keeping it simple. Um, I like sometimes not running the downrigger because when you turn with these weights, it really drops. I'm marking most of my fish at 40 feet, so we will see if we can pull some of those fish up. Probably gonna run three to four ounces today um, on lead if that is their true depth. We'll start with a green hoochie here with a chartreuse blade. I'm gonna pinch my barb since I'm doing catch and release today. Those are all barbless good. I'll try that around 85 feet on the line counter with three ounces. Let's see if that pulls them up or if I have to go deeper. So I'm running a relatively small hoochie on that one. I'm gonna run a big hoochie on this one. A big bright red one behind a red silver dodger. Let's see if this one can get a higher grade of fish for us. So there we go. Orange red hoochie with silver dodger. All right, both of those are deployed. Let's see if we can get some, some trout. When you make those sharp turns, that inside rod really drops. Creates a nice flutter. Sometimes I can draw a strike. Oop, there you go. See that? I had a bite right there. So I know they're following it. Oop, there we go. There's a bit. Doesn't feel like a giant. Smaller fish. I know there are many fish in here over 18, 20 inches, so hopefully we'll find a few of those today. Oop, there's a fish on that one too. Doubled up, keep the pressure on him. Pushing that 18 inch mark, really pretty one. Nice, gorgeous fish. Really pretty. There you go, you can see that beautiful red slash on the throat. Characterizes cutthroats. Really pretty fish. All right, we'll get this guy back in the water. There he goes. All right, let's get this net squared away. And get this guy pulled in. Ooh, this one feels heavy. Ooh. Another nice trout, really nice trout. This looks like a hen. It's so pretty. Oh, she's so pretty. I think the hens are sometimes prettier than the bucks. They have that paler coloration. So there's that really pretty hen. Gorgeous color, still has that slash on the throat. You'll see I actually put a corky inside that hoochie. 
And that corky actually gives it a little bit more buoyancy, so it gets thrown around a little bit better behind the uh, Dodger. Uh, it just basically reduces the weight of it and makes it kick a little bit harder, I notice, if you can incorporate a corky up inside the skirt of that hoochie. All right, let's get this girl going. These are nice trout, but we want bigger. There she goes. See ya. Now with these cutthroats, I've noticed, like, with rainbows, I definitely have that preferred troll speed in that sort of 1.5 to 2 mile an hour range. Here, I definitely favor the upper end of that for cutthroats. Cutthroats seem to like a little faster troll speed, typically in that 1.7 to 2.2 range. And that's why you have to be careful in picking what, uh, what dodgers you use, because not all dodgers actually are designed to run at those higher troll speeds, especially if you're trying to utilize your kokanee dodgers or something for um, in this situation. A lot of kokanee dodgers will start to spin when you get above that 1.6, 1.5. People always ask me why I don't run my rod holders forward more out. It'd actually be a lot easier for me to... The whole reason I do that is I need to have the rod tips back so that the camera can actually pick up the strike so you guys get to see the takedown. Otherwise, I'd love to have them more, more forward. <laughs> oh, that was a good hit. That red one's been getting a little bit more love. It's a little bit deeper. I need some food. Oop. I was gonna get a snack. They always wanna stop you when you get a snack. The old snack bite. Keeping that pressure on them is key, uh, especially in these barbless fisheries, which is why I tend to run a little bit longer rods, a little bit slower action tips. These are compositor glass rods. Ooh, some good head shakes. Ooh, it's thumping. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. Another hen. A little bit fatter than the last one. She's trying to shake that hoochie out of her mouth. Got her. Nice. Beautiful fish. It's amazing the size of prey these uh, cutthroats will take. They're very piscivorous, so they uh, are have big mouths and they're willing to hit really large lures. And they're liking that red one probably because it's deeper, I think. The fish are running a little deeper than I expected them to be. Water temps near the surface are right near 60. It's not too warm. The air temps are in the mid 50s. Headed towards the 70s today. Huh? That's the popular lure of the day. Another very heavy fish. Oh, got a double going. This one definitely feels and looks heavier than that one. That one's bouncing like a little one. These bigger fish, they just hold heavy, hold deep. Oh, maybe it's a hen. She's just flush with color. She's really pretty. Nice. Now she wakes up. This one's still there. Let's get a double in the net. I'll just bring it around. It's a feisty one. There we go. Crowd double. Nice. Let me bounce off those hooks pretty easy. There we go. There's our double. A couple lovely ladies. I love getting doubles. Still haven't been able to finish my snacks though. Seems like I'm getting the bigger ones on the bigger hoochie. So I think I'm going to switch this out to a bigger flasher and bigger hoochie. So I've got this bigger wiggle hoochie and a glow chartreuse, which is a color that these cuddies really like. I think I'm gonna go with that behind. Slightly larger dodger. I have duo locks on everything, so changing out stuff is very easy. This bigger dodger should throw this around and it has a lot of action with that wiggle hoochie, so should get some pretty good action on this thing. Oh yeah. 
check out that how that wiggle hoochie really adds erratic action. Oh, there's fish. Oh, he's off, dang it. Got up here in 40 feet of water again. Oh, <laughs> Must have gone to the school of them. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. I want to get this one in the boat. Oh, big hen. Ooh, don't do that. Yeah. That's a tank. That's a big fish. That's what I came here for. Nice. Nice. There we go. Gorgeous fish. That is what I wanted today. Look how pretty she is. She is very, very pretty. Super cool. That is what I came here for. A little big, fat cutthroat. Very pretty fish, guys. Look at that absolutely awesome let's get her back in the water get her released and call it a day it was an awesome day i've only been out here a few hours i've got at least 10 fish and most of those fish were in the 16 to 18 inch range and this was definitely pushing that 20 inch mark so we'll get her going and uh, just proves how effective these hoochies are i mean they're just absolutely amazing you can run them plain behind a dodger you run them with blades max smiley blades Colorado blades, wiggle bills. The wiggle bill caught this fish and uh, you can really size up and that will help you target those larger trout. All right guys, I'll see you next time out on the water. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder.